are up on a roof. We got uniforms, even though Peter's not wearing his. But I'm at uh, a rooftop unit for a building that's being like renovated, and they wanted to see if the RTU can uh, be used. So you can see right here. There's just a makeshift uh, top panel, which I guess it's fine if it works. Here's our cover panels. Cover panel here. And here's the unit. And if you take a look at this heat exchanger, I can literally fit my hand into it. It's completely disintegrating, and the uh, loops on the other side look like that too. Here's our evaporator coil, which is just dirty. And here's our blower wheel and our blower motor, which is really easily serviceable. Um, another easy access is our inducer motor, which is right here. And you can see there's been burning happening in here. Um, a couple of loose wires, but it is what it is. Probably powered the gas valve, we just hooked those right up. Nice little spade connector in there. Uh, there's practically no pressure in this. But I don't know. Leave a comment if you think that we can get this running and heating for the heating season. Let's see how our Our condenser fan spins freely. Let's see how the blower spins. Yeah, that spins freely too, so. A little bee's nest. Bee's nest there. So that's, that's always nice. Some, uh, I think this is our high uh, limit sensor. So if it gets too hot in here, it shuts the blower off. Probably needs to be reset, maybe replaced. Okay, so we're just gonna make sure that this capacitor is good. So we don't put any more wear and tear on the uh, blower motor if it's out of range. Wiring was already disconnected. And set our meter for microfarads, nanofarads. It's, it automatically uh, adjusts. This one's rated for 15. Go from one lead to the other. it, figure out the reading. It's 14.47, so our 15 microfarad ca capacitor actually is good. So we'll go ahead and put that back, since we know that's good. to continuity. And one side to the other. And it is open line. It's resettable. So let's see if we can reset that. So at the very minimum, we're 
gonna need a new resettable fuse. So we're disconnected on both sides, or on one side of our coil, and we'll read our resistance. In continuity. Oh. And we have five. 5.8 ohms, so that should be replaced. Uh, that's probably uh, what caused our resettable fuse to fail. So, so far, contactor uh, or fuse, and probably our temperature sensor, but that's it. This video uh, just thought it'd be entertaining to record something stupid, but uh, it's a pretty long day. Not that bad, but <clears throat> pretty tired for some reason. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, if you did like the video, uh, comment anything and subscribe. Thanks for watching.